My name is Ms. Sarah with Aurora Public Library and welcome to Make and Learn. Make and Learn is a series of games and activities that focus on early literacy skills. We will show you how to make the activity and then how you can use it at home. To quote the great Mr. Fred Rogers, play is really the work of childhood. Play is how children make sense of and learn about the world around them. Play is one of the five early literacy practices that can help children get ready to read and set them up for a successful future. The other four skills are read, talk, write, and sing. And we'll be touching on all of these in Make and Learn. Today we are making a fun alphabet fishing game using supplies you probably already have at home. Supplies you need are construction paper, metal paper clips, a magnet, even an old magnet from the fridge will do. Tape, scissors, a piece of string or ribbon, and a stick. You can use a stick you find in nature, like I'll be using, or you can use a popsicle stick or anything that could act as a fishing rod. Your first step is to cut out fish out of your construction paper. So I'm taking my paper, folding it in half, and then folding it in half again the other way so one cup will give me several fish. I'm going to go ahead and trace a fish shape onto my paper. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Any fish shape and size will do. So now we'll just cut it out. And there we go. Here are my fish. Our school of fish here um, we need to put letters and numbers on them. Cutting out the fish may require some adult help but depending on your kiddo's age and current skill set you could have them help fill out the letters on the fish and get them, them involved in making the game too. I'm making a combination of both uppercase and lowercase letters but you can make any combination you would like based on your child's current skills and the skills you would like for them to practice. Now that we have our fish cut out with the letters on them, the next step is to put on paper clips so the magnet can pick them up when they go fishing. Depending on your child's current skill set, you can put the paper clip in one of two places. You can put it on the tail on the front so they can see exactly where to put the magnet, or you can put it on the back, which makes it a little more challenging to pick up the letters. To put them on the front, you'll take a piece of tape and roll it so it's sticky on all sides. Take your paper clip, stick the tape on, and then just stick it right on the tail. To put the paper clip on the back, you'll just flip a fish over, take a paper clip, place it on the fish, secure it with a piece of tape, and you're good to go.
Now that our fish pond is fully stocked with letters, we need a fishing rod. So you'll take your stick, either a stick you find in nature or a popsicle stick, and tie your string around the end of it. To make sure it stays secure, just take a little piece of tape and tape that string around. Now you'll take your magnet and depending on how thick your string is or ribbon is, you can either tie it around the magnet or you can just tape it right on there. And you're ready to go fishing. This fun activity supports the early literacy skills of print awareness, which is noticing letters and words everywhere they look, which will help children learn to put letters together to form words when they start reading, as well as letter knowledge, which is knowing the alphabet, both lowercase and capital letters, and the sounds each letter makes, which will again help them learn how letters form words when reading. Depending on your child's age and current skills, you can adjust this game to meet their level. You can use numbers instead of letters to incorporate steam elements. You can ask them for a fish of a certain color instead of a letter, or you can even put sight words on the fish, short words like the, and, or mom, or put friends and family's names on them. This game can also easily incorporate the other early literacy practices in addition to play. To include talk, talk about each letter with your child, and discuss the words that include that letter. Maybe even have them try to spell their name by fishing for the letters in their name. Holding the fishing rod and the hand-eye coordination needed to pick up a letter supports their motor development to help them learn to write. Writing gives them the chance to really own and use the language. And of course, it involves reading, seeing the fish and recognizing their letters. And of course, it's play, the most important work of childhood. I hope you enjoyed this fun activity today. Tune in next time to make and learn for more early literacy activities. In the meantime, visit our Pinterest page, pinterest.com slash Aurora Public for more early literacy tips and activities. Happy fishing. Bye.